Hey folks, it's Tom Moore coming to you with another video today on living in Halifax. Once again, I'm a realtor with Remax here in town. Today we're doing a, another driving tour. Uh, I just filmed one on the University District. So this one's going to be on pretty much the nicest neighborhood in the south end. We're now south of what's called English Street. So basically where St. Mary's University is. Uh, and we're going to go down Tower Road into this area that's kind of to the right hand side of Point Pleasant Park and then we'll come back up out uh, Young Avenue which is probably the nicest street in uh, Halifax so uh, without further ado let's get to it enjoy alrighty folks let's get going here um, I realize I just parked in front of the school oh and the school bus is letting me out thank you sir Okay, so here we are. We are in, again, one of the nicer, probably the nicest neighborhood part of the South End, uh, which therefore makes a pretty strong argument for one of the nicest areas in the Maritimes in terms of, you know, exclusivity, high prices, all that good stuff. So on the right-hand side here, we've actually got the tail end of St. Mary's University. Um... And yeah, this is uh, this was once considered cottage country, kind of during the founding of the city uh, down in the deep south end. So if you look up an old picture of Halifax when it was like a garrison way back in the day, I think there was five forts uh, stationed around Citadel Hill. Uh, the, the I guess the wealthier people would have um, cottages, and, and a lot of this was also farmland down here. But uh, yeah, we'll take you on a little tour. So we're going over this bridge right now. This is the South End Railway, I guess, or one of the railways that, um, uh, it's the railway that runs through the Halifax Peninsula. And as you can see on the right-hand side here, uh, this is, there's this kind of cool, almost green belt that runs along uh, part of the South End as well as the West End. Uh, due to the depression that the uh, the railway gives, uh, the city and CN Rail owns a bit of the land on both sides of that. And so the railways sunk them way deep in, and then they actually have uh, trees kind of lining it. So pretty cool uh, little feature, I guess, of Halifax. Not very, not very noisy at all. Now this down here is, eh, whatever, we'll go in here. Um, this is my, my buddy who used to live down here. This is a really cool little area, private drive. So anybody who lives down here and watches this, I'm sorry, but this is one of the coolest little neighborhoods ever. So this is just a collection of basically five houses. Four of them are kind of more historic, uh, as you can see, and just a really cool little cul-de-sac here, very exclusive. Um, yeah, it's a gated community with a gate that doesn't lock basically, but really beautiful. Now, the other kind of interesting thing here is uh, as we turn right, we're gonna come across the Atlantic School of Theology. So basically where the uh, priests, I guess, are trained. And uh, yeah, it looks like they're shooting a movie down here. Nova Scotia also has a, a pretty robust film making scene. Uh, we used to have these really big tax breaks. This is actually the hospice right here. We just drove by, if you guys saw that on the right hand side. Uh, hospice Halifax, relatively new building. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, here's this the, oh no, this is the ad street. Oops. Uh, this is a dead end. I went down the wrong dead end. Um, as I was saying, yeah, uh, Halifax used to have this really big film credit in Nova Scotia. And we still do get people that come out here. But um, I think they got rid of a significant portion. So these houses right here on the, on the right-hand side are on the Halifax arm. Uh, that one is not, and neither is this one. But, uh, you know, as you can see as we're down here, this is just 
beautiful looking homes. Some of them almost have that captain's home style with a big veranda out front. Some of them have more of a cottagey style. There's a mix of brick down here, um, which is not as common in lots of parts of the city. And I think that's just because a lot of the rest of the city, like in the West End, parts of the South End, the North End, it's just older. Um, so you wouldn't see the same building materials that you find down in the deep, deep south end where, where we are now, right? Um, yeah, this is a really cool street here. Take our time going through here. Um, but yeah, so when we're in the deep south end, there's some kind of loops, I guess, of, you know, these, they're not quite what I would consider to be what's the word dead ends but they're very very light on traffic because the only time somebody's driving down here is if they're going to work there or uh you know they're going to commute so they live down there or there's somebody like me who's just randomly driving around filming and talking uh but you know so down here high high property prices even the ones that have been owned for the lot, like since they were built by the same family and they haven't been rent out or anything like that are gonna cost you an arm and a leg. So, uh, you know, exclusivity, yes, you got Point Pleasant Park right here, as you can see. And we'll kind of go a different way to see some, some more of that. But all these houses on the right-hand side here, so this is Point Pleasant Park on the left. When we get to the end of this street, you'll see it will actually um, uh, you'll see it'll actually turn, I guess, with us. Uh, but first, we're actually going to go down another one of these little guys here. Now, this is actually a dead end, but really cool street. Some very cute houses like the ones there on the left. They're almost like cottage style, right? Very interesting. And then as we get to the bottom here, you'll see some of the, the ones that are certainly a bit newer but you know you got some of these cottage styles down here quaint quainter living you got some houses up here on the left that are up on the hill i actually do not know where those folks park it must be on the other street I've driven down here a million times but i never thought about that um and then yeah this you got some some beautiful homes down here that have been uh, purchased over the years. I think there was a lot down here that went and then people will come in and build their, their dream home with with an arm. So again, for people who, who don't know, this is a really cool house on the right here. Uh, for people that do not know, the arm is slang for the Northwest arm. So that's the body of water that kind of hugs the peninsula of Halifax. That's a big garage, jeez. Must be keeping a boat in there or something. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, the arm is very exclusive, right? Big boating, uh, there's two yacht clubs on the arm. The Armdale Yacht Club and the Royal Nova Scotian Yacht Squadron, I believe is what it's called. Um, and there's a lot for sale down here for 700 grand, I believe, right, that I just drove by on the left. So uh, if you're, you know, here for the long haul, want to build a property, that thing has been sitting forever. So you can probably get a decent, decent deal on it. But uh, yeah. And then, you know, the nice thing about this, Point Pleasant Park right here, beautiful beautiful area definitely worth me doing a video on probably one morning now that it's now that it's uh now that it is april me and jackie my freshly minted fiance is uh we like to go for like morning coffee walks down there at like 7 a.m when the sun's coming up it is phenomenal so i'll have to film a little bit down there, maybe make a little video on, on Point Pleasant Park because it is awesome there. Okay, so another one of these little like loop-de-loops, right? Okay, so this is, yeah, okay. So this is the actual driveways for those houses I was referencing. 
it seemed to sit atop the hill. But yeah, a mix of older homes, newer homes, kind of modern looking homes, and homes with some, some character. Another entrance to Point Pleasant Park is right here, actually. So you might, for those of you who aren't completely turned around. Oh, geez. They're tearing that house down. No kidding. I think they bought that for about a million, 1.1 mil, maybe 1.2. They're tearing it down. Wow. Interesting. Okay, and then you got uh, some really nice houses here on the right hand side on the left actually. Shout out to the Raimis. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so we're gonna just do another little quick spin down one or two streets, go up Young Avenue, Young Avenue, so like I'm from Boston. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, Point Pleasant Park, you've got this on one side, on the other side, you've got the arm. Unfortunately, not a ton of public access to the arm, uh, especially in this neck of the woods. But um, there is, you know, oh, this this is these are some cool houses through here. I guess we already saw them. But there is, uh, you know, there's you can access the the harbor through Point Pleasant Park. They're kind of they're they're always cleaning up the harbor. George St. Pierre, the UFC fighter, actually was here on the weekend and he went for a swim in the harbor in the middle of, or at the start of April. So there you go. Um, alrighty, so now what we are going to do is we've still got, now this is a cool, I think it's called the Point Pleasant Park, Point Pleasant Grocery on the left, little, little convenience store there. It'd be a great little investment property, actually. And these guys, oh, girl guy cookies. This is Point Pleasant Park, goes all the way to the bottom there, where you see the, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to mess around with this, where you see the containers down at the bottom. So that's actually called Point Pleasant Terminal, I believe, which is one of the two large container ports in Halifax. Of course, the city has been expanding those quite significantly. All right, we're turning on to Young Avenue, the nicest street in Halifax, I would say. Great place to run. I'm going to let this guy go by me so he doesn't get too PO'd. And, um, oh, maybe we'll get a nice sunset. Lucky. Oh, yeah. So this is, you know, it's funny because this is the one of the most exclusive streets in Halifax, but it's also can get a little busy, you know? I mean, you've got this boulevard, obviously, but people love to run up and down this street. Um, now, the, the lots are huge, but people love to run up and down this street. They uh, also like to drive up and down it, like myself, if you're going to the Point Pleasant Park. We're just looking at nice homes, you know? And, uh, Lots of people like to walk their dogs here. There's, uh, there's a house that just came up here on the left. I think it is for 3.9, I believe. Maybe done. No free ads. Just gave them one. Oh, well. Uh, anyways. Yeah, here we are. Just a really beautiful street. A healthy mix of all kinds of different builds here. Uh, this thing on the left which is under construction, looks like a castle when it's not under construction. You got the South End Tennis Club right here, which is just a really cool group of tennis courts. Uh, yeah, so that is kind of the depths of the South End. I would consider that to be one of the most exclusive South End neighborhoods right there. Just roll that stop sign. Anyways, um, yeah, okay. Well, that was a house one. So again, feedback on these is is huge, right? I I really like doing this style because I can just talk about what I know. 
Uh, and I, I do like to think I, I know some cool stuff about Halifax. So, you know, let me know. Do you like these little micro neighborhood tours? Would you rather me do, um, there's Lukey. <laughs> That's one of my best buddies. Uh, anyways, would you rather me do, uh, you know, kind of more of a touristy thing? I don't know. Whatever you can think of. If, if maybe you've seen this on different channels, like these, these types of driving tours on different channels and you had certain things that you liked, certain things that that person talked about, pointed out. Um, Anyways, yeah, always appreciate the feedback. I, I really just want to, if I'm out here shooting these videos, I want to make sure it's stuff that you guys actually, you know, want to want to, uh, want to watch. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.